there, Jen. Hi, Tom. I'm actually here at the Radisson Hotel, Colin Van Ostern headquarters for the evening. The polls across New Hampshire have closed, and so far the very, very early preliminary results are showing that it's looking pretty good for Colin Van Ostern. So far, he is leading 55 to 40 percent. I'm standing here with Democratic Party chair for the state of New Hampshire, Ray Buckley. Ray, very early in the evening, but you must be encouraged by what the numbers that you're seeing so far. Uh, very encouraged. Uh, he did very well here in the city of Manchester uh, and in other areas as well. He's really holding his own. I'm feeling very optimistic. Colin Van Ostern just tweeted that he is actually still campaigning across uh, New Hampshire. His last stop in Nashua at 8 o'clock, greeting people at the commuter station there. Oh, you know, and that's exactly the kind of governor he's going to be. It's, he's going to be a tireless fighter for the people of, of New Hampshire, and we're very, very proud of him, and uh, he's going to be a great governor. The doors have opened to the public here at 8 o'clock. Are you expecting a lot of people to come down here? Are you encouraged? Do you think that this might be a winning night for Ben Ostern? Oh, I, I, absolutely. I, you know, I think things are looking very good for him. Uh, he's worked very hard, run a great campaign, really talked about the issues that people of, of New Hampshire cared about. And he's right on the issues. And so uh, I think uh, when he comes out, it's going to be uh, as the governor-elect. And if he does win tonight, what do you think, what part of his message do you think it was that resonated with voters here in New Hampshire? I know that he really pushed the idea of uh, getting young families to stay in New Hampshire, uh, having startup businesses. Do you think that that's the part of his message that vo voters seem to cling to? Well, you know, absolutely. Uh, whether it's education or being innovative with uh, bringing high-tech businesses in here, uh, the, the train connecting us to Boston, those are all things that are very important to young people, young families. You know, we lose so many of our young people, once they graduate from college, they just never come back. Uh, I think that under Colin Van Ostern, uh, we're going to see that trend reverse, uh, especially with uh, increasing the college tuitions uh, uh, support uh, for, so that more people will be able to go, not increasing the tuition, but increasing the support so that people will be able to afford to go. And he's a very young candidate, only 37 years old, poised to possibly become the youngest governor in the country. Where do you think that he may go from here? He hasn't been shy about the fact that he's ambitious. <laughs> well, I think that right now his focus is going to be on governor. He really has you know, worked very closely with uh, then Governor Shaheen, Governor Lynch, and of course the last four years with Governor Hassan. He, you know, so he's had three terrific mentors. I think he's going to be a great governor. And we should mention the cheers that you're hearing in the background. Uh, there's a number of people who have come in for a watch party here, and every time a Democratic uh, candidate wins nationally, a cheer erupts. What are you, how are you feeling about this national race? I know it's very early. Yeah. It, Thoughts? It's, it's very early, but we have full confidence that the people of America really understand that the person that's going to lead this country into a better and, and more positive future is, is uh, Hillary Clinton. All right. Ray Buckley, thank right. you very thank much you. for joining us tonight. Guys, that is the scene here at the Radisson Hotel. I want to send it on over to my colleague.